Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to show you the strategy that I have been using recently to farm around one mirror per day. And you have, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about because I have been doing this for many links now and this strategy is simulacrum farming. And if you're wondering what farming one mirror per day exactly means, like how many hours am I, am I playing and so on, I'm gonna talk about that a bit later. So here is my currency tab, I have uh, two mirrors currently and if I wanted to I could buy a third one but instead I decided to buy more simulacrum, more awakened gems to level up. As you can see here, is a, here I have custom crit, GMP, another custom crit, chain and all of them are like 10x each. So if I sold all of them I could easily uh, buy another mirror but again I am making more money using that money. So here let me show you like one wave when I am uh, where I am farming uh, simulacrum. So this is wave 21. So if you are wondering, I am farming on average anywhere between 20 to 25 simulacrum waves. So you absolutely don't need to uh, do waves 30. And in fact, I actually think it's not really worth it to do all of the waves if you don't have like insane build because bosses above wave 20 have insane amount of life. Even this, as you can see, this is wave 21. I am gonna be fighting this boss for a little bit and I have all of my uh, soul eater stacks, so he's dying much, much faster than he would normally die. So just losing the amount of time uh, in like wave 20 and 25 and so on uh, to kill a boss, I don't think it's just worth to waste that time. It's much better to just uh, go into a new simulacrum and do easier waves but more often so you can level up more gems and get more rewards this way. And also if you would ask me uh, how many waves do you need to to actually start making profit from simulacrum I think if you w make like 15 waves with 5 rewards uh, every single time you're probably gonna make even Especially since simulacrums now are pretty cheap, you can only you only need to spend uh, one exalt for every single simulacrum. So I would say to make profit, you would probably have to do like 18 waves, and you don't even need to level up gems. But obviously, if you're gonna level up uh, gems, it's gonna be even better. So that was uh, wave 21, and again, most of the time I'm finishing around one like 22, 23, 24 waves. And if it gets too hard and I'm starting to die, I just leave and make a new simulacrum. And in terms of leveling gems, if you want to just start it, I would just go into PoE Ninja, go to the uh, gem section, go for level 21, and just see which non-val, non-alternate uh, quality gems are the most expensive one. So for example, in this case, that would be Exsanguinate almost 5 exalts, but it's 21, 23. So let's look at quality 20. So that would be Herald of Thunder, Corrupting Fever, Stormbrand. And these prices change very often, so I would highly recommend just checking it before you actually start leveling them up. And eventually you can move on to leveling things like Empowers and Enlightens, and then into Awaken Gems. Or you can keep leveling up Enlightens and Empowers, it is still pretty good. So what I did in the test that I'm gonna show you the results of is I did 27 simulacrums since that's the amount I needed to level up all of my awakened gems to level 5 from level 1. And in my weapon swap I was leveling up I believe 2 empowers and 1 enlighten in my aura setup so from level 2 to level 3 since I normally need level 2 to get uh, enough mana to attack with my toxic range so I'm always leveling it up and then selling it at level 3 and then putting level 2 again. So in total I am leveling up 6, uh, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, uh, 25, 26, 27, gems and I am counting my main 16 because I am leveling up void manipulation and vicious projectile then I am selling it and then I am buying the new ones 
and I prefer to buy level 2, avoid manipulations, because with plus 2 gems from a bow, it's upgraded to at least level 5, which will give me plus 1 level 2 chaos skill gems, which is the most important thing you need from it. So it's not that big of a deal if you uh, use level 1 instead of level, I mean level 2 instead of level 5, and it doesn't matter for Vicious Projector. And, and again, here I'm leveling a knight then. I am also missing one Anset Ring still, and I am still debating maybe removing Steel Skin, maybe Blink Arrow, so I could level up even more gems. And here let me show you the screenshots of the loot that I had after I finish the test, because again I already bought a mirror from all of the loot, so I made screenshots because before I did it. So here is the Catalyst tab, and not all of it came from the simulacrums. Like I started with uh, some loot, but most of it, I believe like 10% of all of the stuff that I'm going to show you here, uh, was here before of this test. And again, this is included in the spreadsheet that I'm going to show you in a second. So yeah, that's a lot of uh, Catalyst. Here are all of the cluster jewels, and here like these uh, empty spaces are the jewels that actually were worth a lot. So these are worth like 10, 15 C, most of them, maybe even less. But these were actually like worth 1x, maybe even 2x, depending on which one they were. Uh, here is the currency tab. So most importantly, I got a lot of uh, sextants, chisels, chance orbs, and actually surprisingly a lot of game cutters. The simulacrums drop a lot of like full stacks of game cutters, like 10, even 15 in one stack. So quite a lot of them. Not that many Val Orbs of all, for some reason. Here are all of the stack decks and twice enchanted, mostly. And essences. Again, not all of them uh, came from these simulacrums. I would say like half of them, probably. Here are all of the fossils and I would say around 40 of each of the top ones and all of these prime resonators came from the simulacrums. Here are the uh, timeless emblems and sacrifice fragment. And here is the most important tab, which is the gems. So I did level up, uh, I believe, 10 empowers and enlightens total. Uh, and I, out of 10 of them, I got four level fours. So I actually got really lucky, but even without that, I would make a lot of profit. And here are all of the Awakened gems, so I believe there is 24 of them, because again I was leveling up two Empowers in the Weapon Swap and one Enlighten in my uh, Aura setup. So not all of the gems were only empower uh, Awakened ones. And if you would ask me like which Awakened gems to level up, it's always gonna be different. Like every time you're gonna start like buying them, First of all, don't buy just one, like a lot of, like let's say, void manipulation and just buy 20 of them because uh, first of all, you're gonna have to pay probably more for them because you're gonna buy out all of the cheaper ones, but also you're gonna flood the market with a lot of level 5, so you're gonna reduce prices and also it's gonna take a while to sell them. So I usually buy like two or three of, uh, of each different Awakened Gems and I'm checking the prices, like differences between level 1 and level 3, so to figure out how much profit I'm gonna make. And usually you make around two to three exhaust profit from every Awakened gems, gem leveled up from one to level five. And it takes, again, 27 simulacrums on average, if you're gonna do like 20 to 25 waves to level up them um, to level five. If you're gonna do like 18 waves um, up to 20, it's probably gonna be around 30 simulacrums. Here is uh, Here are the scarabs, so most of them I got like 30 of each rusted and like 10 to 20 uh, polished. Again, not all of that came from the uh, these simulacrums. But that was the state of my uh, stash tabs. And here is the actual calculated profit. So I was buying simulacrums for 1.5 exalts. So it actually went down a lot. Like it went down to one exalt right now so you can make even more money nowadays with this strategy and I bought 27 of them and it took me 11 hours to complete all of the 27 simulacrums. From Enlightens and Empowers I did profit 34 exalts 
from Awaken the Gems, I did profit 67 exalts because again, you make around two to three exalts uh, per one. Mm. Here is the exilence uh, calculations. So I am using the exilence program to calculate the uh, state of my stash tab. So uh, with this program, it just shows you how much overall currency you have in your uh, stash. So I checked how much I had before the test and after the test. So before I had 15,300 and after 19,000. So I did profit 4,000 just from all of the random drops. So if you would ask me how much money you make from simulacrums without leveling, that would be the results. So I did make around 3.4 exalts per hour just from loot, which is not that great. But if you would remove the uh, half an exalt of the price of simulacrums, which again, if you go now to the trade, you can buy them for one exalt instead of for, instead of for 1.5. That would be uh, 1.3k less investment. So let's remove that here. For all, you would actually make like 4.5 exhaust per hour with current prices of uh, simulacrums. And here is the total profit. So actually counting all of the gems, awaken the gems, empowers and the nightens, I ended up with 12.6 exhausts per hour. And without empowers and the nightens, so without like lucky level fours that I got, that would be 9.5x. But again, if I wouldn't level them up, I would probably level up some kind of uh, awaken the gems. So I would say on average with the strategy with leveling gems, you would make 10x per hour. So again, uh, going back to what I said earlier, like doing 30 waves against doing like 20 waves. If you're going to have a build that can handle 30 waves, you most likely will not have a lot of uh, gem slots like I have uh, here. So you will only profit from loot and maybe like nine uh, gems in your weapon slot. So this profit is actually not like insane. So even if you would do like 30 waves, you probably would be able to push it up to like six, maybe seven exalts per hour with uh, 30 waves. But for me, the biggest uh, winner is leveling gems. So I did sacrifice a lot of power uh, on my character. Like again, I'm not using like a rare bow with damage over the multi and so on. I'm using Maloney for additional gems. I'm using Unset Ring for again, additional gems. I'm not using like Totem setup, which I am actually having here. And I am swapping to Wither Totem when I have just one boss remaining and he has like half HP. So just to finish him quicker, I am using my Wither Totem setup. And here I have Caustic Arrow and Arrow Nova, which I am swapping for like first 10 to 15 waves because they are much easier, you don't need that much damage, but and Caustic Arrow with Arrow Nova has insane clear. So I am using that for like 15 waves and then I'm swapping to Toxic Rain. And if you're wondering about the build, I am explaining everything about my build in my previous video. So I believe it was week one update and here I am showing all of my gear. So yeah, again, I would say doing 20 to 25 ways with leveling up a lot of gems is much, much better than just going for 32 ways. But what I actually think I'm going to try out doing uh, later is maybe having a second character that can clear 30 ways and continue clearing like 20 to 25 with this character. And then once it starts getting harder, I just swap to the second one, finish wave 30 and then go back here and uh, continue with the next simulacrum on the toxic train. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do the strategy for three more days, just stack a few mirrors and then uh, make uh, some nice builds. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.